Hi everyone and welcome to my channel audio video music and entertainment. In today's video I'm going to show you how to update the Yamaha QL5 uh, firmware and the built-in Dante module firmware at the same time. So just go to setup page and uh, by clicking on the setup tab and just make a note of your uh, uh, firmware. Uh, as you can see the firmware of this desk is on version 3.11 and the Dante is 3.8.0.24 so I'm gonna update both and I'll show you exactly how to do that so first step is insert a USB stick and format that USB stick using the uh, Yamaha QL5 so just go on save and load and uh, format just gonna format this and volume name I'm gonna just call it firmware update firmware I'm just gonna call it firmware and enter okay so now Yamaha has formatted the USB drive now next step is disconnect this USB drive and uh, I'll show you what the next steps are on my computer screen. Alright guys, so once you have formatted the USB and checked the firmware version on your Yamaha QL5 and next step is to download the firmware. Now I've created this uh, notepad for all the steps which I'll put it in the video description as well. Uh, so next is go on Yamaha website and download the firmware which is for QL5. Uh, I mean QL5 version 4.04. .04. So just click on that and just scroll the page down all the way down. Agree the license agreement and download this QL5 firmware zip. Then go to your downloads and unzip it so I've unzipped it here now open this folder ql5 underscore firm 404 and you need to now copy three files to the USB you formatted on the ql5 and you need to copy those files to the root directory which I'll show you exactly how to do that so first file you need to copy is inside this folder it's called mql p4 underscore 04 dot pgm so copy this and locate the usb and just copy it here so this is the root directory don't go inside any folder on the usb just copy it in the root directory okay so now go back here and the dante one Sorry, the name sub one, just copy this and go to your firmware and just copy this here. And third file is, is, the, is the Dante firmware. So just go ahead and copy this as well to the root directory of the USB. This is the Dante firmware, the module that is installed inside uh, the QL5. So once you have copied all the three uh, uh, files on the USB stick, uh, next step is this one right here. So it's on the desk. So let's go back to the desk and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, guys, next step is uh, disconnect all the uh, LAN cables from back of your desk as you can see there are a few cables connected in daisy chain uh, with this desk so I'm gonna just disconnect all the LAN cables uh, uh, from the desk and uh, then what you do is switch off the desk so I'm just gonna switch off the desk now and uh, there you go Okay, next is you connect uh, the USB to this port right here on which you have copied the files from your computer and then you turn on 
the desk. And now let me get rid of this reflection here and then I'll uh, just record. So once I'm recording the screen, it's clear. Okay guys, uh, so once you have switched off the desk, next step is insert the USB stick uh, with the files on and then switch on the desk. So I'm just gonna switch on the desk now. And you can see it says start loading. If you can read that, let me just, there you go. And I'm gonna click okay. And now it's showing found uh, mqlp4 underscore o four dot pgm and loading 6%, 7%. So it's gonna load this. Now I'm just gonna, once it's uploaded 100% and it's loading the uh, name sub uh, file, then I'll start recording again. Okay guys, it's almost 97% MQLP4 file and it says 100% done. And after loading the MQLP4 uh, file, it just rebooted itself. The main reason you guys probably getting a blue shadow is I've installed like a blue gel on the light. It's too bright anyways. So there you go. Now the desk is rebooting. That took about two, three minutes. Okay. Now it says firmware version 103 to 103. Now this is the sub CPU update according to Yamaha PDF upgrade PDF if these two numbers they are the equal then there's no need to do it but I'm just gonna do it anyways uh, so okay please do not shut down update in progress so do not shut down and I highly recommend you guys to read the guidance PDF uh, that is on Yamaha website for upgrading the firmware uh, as I did so you should do the same as well. So And uh, now the name sub CPU update as you can see here Probably not There you go Firmware version 103 to 103 and It's 63 percent 64 percent and it's flashing in red and yellow as you can see so let this update it's almost done okay name sub cpu update successful and i'm gonna click ok now okay now it says Dante update right here and it says firmware version 3.8.0 1 1.22 to 3.8.0 1.2.8 so I've got the updated version so on the USB so I'm gonna update this now and this has started the process the progress and uh, so far it has taken about five minutes so this Dante firmware update process seems to be a little bit slow. So I'm just gonna come back once it's near 100%. Okay guys, it's taking some time on the Dante one as you can see. Just gonna get rid of this blue gel now. Probably doesn't make any sense. So there you go. It's still updating. As you can see guys so the Dante is on Dante firmware update is on 98% and uh, it's been 11 minutes so far I've started the process and uh, it says completely please do not shut down update in progress so it's still rolling the Dante update and it's giving the warning flashing in yellow and red that do not shut down update in progress okay so I'll come back let's see still doing that and it's stating less than one minute left 
escape. They jump. Hey guys, now it states Dante update successful. So I'm going to click on OK. Please restart the system. So this is the point where I'm just going to restart the system from the back of the desk by pressing the button and switch it back on. Okay. And sorry, I forgot to disconnect the USB otherwise it wouldn't give me that message so now it's booting into the desk for the first time and it says digital mixing console QL5 and right in the bottom it says Name sub update. I don't want that. And there you go. So now I'll go into setup. And there you go. You can see my main version is version 4.4, .4 and my Dante version is. 3.8.24 so this is the latest version installed now and uh, my desk is back to normal and obviously what I need to do is I need to upload uh, the show files the scene files again onto the desk and uh, connect the LAN cables back where they belong and uh, you should do the same after updating check the complete functionality of your desk on your existing uh, network that it works as uh, it was working before the update uh, alright guys hope you have liked this video and uh, I've explained in the simplest method how to update the QL5 and Dante firmware on QL5 and if you have liked this video, please click on the like icon and I'll keep making good AV videos. Thank you. Bye.